I, uh, I did. Uh, I was, uh, when I was in high school, uh, when I was a 15 year old, I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior and committed my life to him. I, uh, after high school, I went to Moody Bible Institute, um, which was a, uh, at the time, was a bastion of fundamentalist Christianity. And I was uh, very uh, rigorously uh, involved with my faith, uh, wanted to devote my life to Christ and his kingdom. Uh, and I uh, was completely committed to the Bible as the inerrant revelation of God. Uh, had a personal relationship with Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Um, and was like that for years. Uh, as I studied the Bible more, I began to realize, uh, reading it in the original Greek and in the original Hebrew, that in fact uh, it simply wasn't an inerrant revelation. I wanted to believe it was, but I started finding discrepancies. I found out how people resolve these discrepancies. I got to a point where I just realized some of these cannot be reconciled. These are, this, is, this is just a contradiction. Uh, and I had to decide, am I going to go where I think the truth is leading me, or am I going to stay where I feel more comfortable? And I decided that I really had to go where I thought the truth was leading me. I ended up becoming a liberal Christian. Uh, I, was still a, I was still a faithful Christian. I was a pastor of a Baptist church for a year. Um, I was uh, still actively involved in ministry. Eventually, the reason I left Christianity altogether is unrelated to my scholarship. It's because I simply no longer could believe that there was a God who is active in a world where there's just so much pain, misery, and suffering. Where a child, an innocent child, starves to death every five seconds. I realized I just don't believe it anymore. And so I became an agnostic about 20 years ago. So, no, I, I don't believe any of that.